You know Najee's like 6'2", right? No, he's not. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. There you go. Man, I should have went to a different college. I probably could have gone to the league. What league? Yeah. No, E, I'm serious. What league you think you could have played in legitimately? It ain't like you got 29 offers like my man Najee Harris did. Your boy Najee is the truth, man. He's killing the game right now. And he's representing for the short guys. That's what I like about him most. Why you always drop facts like you be right and you like so wrong and strong about it? You know Najee's like 6'2", right? No, he's not. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. See, now I gotta put you on. Why don't you have a seat? Najee ran a 4.41.40 at the combine. He was the 24th pick by the Steelers, and he was the first running back picked overall. Okay, but did you know that on draft night, Najee gave back to the Bay Area homeless shelter where he once lived with his family? Yeah, it was a boss move. Yeah. Everybody heard about that. Did you know that he was a five-star recruit? Oh, yeah, no, I... No, yeah, I did. I did. Me and, like, 328 million other people. That's why they call him the monorail, because that boy, Electric, you didn't even see this high school tape? Man, whatever, man. Looks like his teammates got a new nickname for him. His, what is his nickname? Cramps? No, man, it's Hurdle Man. Hurdle Man? Yeah, that's how you... That was you doing a hurdle? Yes. Yo, that's pathetic. Yeah, and that's a terrible nickname, too. Not as terrible as your jumper, LeBron Ames. <laughs> oh, my God, bro, let it go. My J went missing one game. Oh, I know. Me and Granny been putting up flyers all week. What are you talking about? What is this? It was Granny's idea for the search party. He's talking about Najee right now. Stay focused. He's named after the famous saxophone player, Jerome Najee Rashid. Did you know that? Did you know I ordered this from the same place you got that fact from? ObviousNajeeFacts.net. Listen, if you're gonna bring some exclusive to a fact battle, give me something worthy, like the fact that he looks up to and idolizes soccer player Megan Rapino. Duh, Captain Obvious. That's why every time you score a touchdown, he do this. Bro, you look like you're waiting to be picked up and burped. I should probably baby-proof this whole room. Remember that pose. And that's the only thing you're gonna see when I cut you up on that football field. Hey, man, <laughs> please. You ain't cutting nothing but the teacup lines and theme parks. So clever, man. I'm not taking that from a NARP, though. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> Just take it from Najee, the guy that I put you on. You did, dog. Why we gotta, you didn't oh, I went to dog. therapy once and I tried it and it worked. So just say it with me. I put you on. I put you on. No, you put me. No, I, no, 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 no. It's supposed to be you. Like, you is an I. You and no, the I put you on. I put you on. We're coming, Granny. Who's we? That's your grandma. 